Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So we've got quite an interesting question here today. First of all, we've been given a parabola and we've been given a straight line and we've also been given both of their equations. Okay, now in the given information, they tell us that f of a, so I'm gonna stop right there because it is very important that we know what f of a is. Remember in a previous video, we looked at the fact that if you have f of x, then that whole thing represents a y value. Okay, so that is the y value. So we must realize that this is a y value when the x value is equal to a. So f of a is equal to the y value when x is equal to a. Then they tell us that that's equal to h of b. So that's going to be a y value when x is equal to b. Okay, so that part's extremely important. And they tell us that, okay, so they tell us that f of a is equal to h of b, which is equal to 4. So the y values of both of those graphs are equal to 4 when x is equal to a in the parabola and when x is equal to b in the straight line. Now, even if that part doesn't make perfect sense in a test, let's say you're in a test and it's a bit confusing, just start substituting things in. So we're going to start with the parabola and we know that the parabola is f of x equals to x squared minus 7x plus 10. They, f of x stands for the y value and they tell us that the y value was equal to 4 and the x value is equal to a. So we'll just fill it in as a. You can then solve this as a quadratic. So you bring the 4 over and that's going to give you a 6. You can then solve that using the quadratic equation or you could factorize. Factorizing doesn't always work, but in this one it will. And so I'm just going to factorize quickly, but you can go ahead and use the formula if you want. And so a is equal to 6 or a is equal to 1. I would just like to draw your attention to the fact that they said that a has to be bigger than 1. So we'll cross this one out and we'll say not applicable. Then we'll do the same approach using the straight line graph. I'm just going to squeeze it in in the corner here. So we know that h of x is equal to x minus 2, and they tell us that when x is equal to b, then the y value is equal to 4. So we're going to go 4 is equal to b minus 2, so b is equal to 6. So both a is 6 and b is 6. So now they said, what is a plus b? Well, that's just going to be 6 plus 6, which is 12. 